safe to say Liverpool have come a long way since George and Klopp succeeded Brendan Rodgers as manager back in 2015. In the Germans' three full seasons in charge, chronologically the Reds have finished 8th, 4th and 4th in the Premier League. Liverpool also reached the 2015 forward 16 Europa League final, which they lost 3 1 to Sevilla, and last season's Champions League final with Real Madrid. Real ran out 3 1 winners in Kiev that day, but Liverpool's run to the final showed that something special was happening at Anfield. And it's told this season as Klopp's men are currently top of the Premier League after 23 games and once again going strong in Europe. They face Bayern Munich in the last 16. Klopp has revolutionised Liverpool in his three and a half years as manager and it's mostly due to the players he's signed in that time. Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane, Virgil van Dijk, Andy Robertson, Alisson, Fabinho, Georginio Wijnaldum, the list goes on. Liverpool have had to pay a lot of money to get where they are, but the sale of Philippe Coutinho and reaching the Champions League final last year has put them on the brink of making history. According to the English media, the Reds are set to become the first club in the world to record annual profits of over 100 million euros, 88 pounds. So how has Klopp done it? Well, you need only compare Liverpool's starting lineup to face West Brom in May 2016 to their current best starting lineup to see how much change has been made. The state of that team. Liverpool scraped a 1 1 draw at the Hawthorns that day and it meant they finished a disappointing 8th in the Premier League. Klopp fielded a stronger 11 for the Europa League final with Sevilla three days later and lost 3-1, but with their current team and squad depth they probably would have won. <laughs>